Hey folks, in today's episode of Inspector Gadget, I'm here with my co-inspector for today's episode. Thanks for joining me, Steph. Of course, thank you. And we're gonna take you through nine different portable speakers that are Bluetooth, well, all but one of them, to help you choose what's the best that you can choose for under $200. Check out Soundstripe, the library I use to get all of my music for all of our different productions. The songs we're listening to today and my intro all come from there. If you check out the link in the caption, you can sign up with an extra discount for a one year subscription. So folks, we have chosen out nine different speakers. I went over to my local store to choose out the ones that I felt looked like they offered the best bang for the buck or had something really compelling about them. I'll say from the outset, we've gone through and they have really different feature sets. Some are fully water submersible, others aren't even splash proof. Some offer NFC, most are Bluetooth, one of them is Wi-Fi only. So it's not an apples to apples, but we're going to go through and score them based on how's the quality of the sound generally, how's their performance at maximum volume, and then styles and features, and we're gonna be doing a decibel rating to see which one is putting out the most sound. So the nine that we're looking at in today's video are the Sony XB30, the iHome IBT372, the Bose Soundlink Mini version two, the JBL, what's this one, Flip 4, the UE, which stands for Ultimate Ears Boom 2, they're actually made by Logitech, the Bose Soundlink Revolve, which is circular, there you go, Revolve, the Sony XB20, the smaller version of the 30, but with similar features, the Altec Lansing Boom Jacket 2, in deep red, and then the Sonos Play 1. So let's go through, listen to each of them, and then we'll explain the different features of them and give you our averaged marks based on sound quality, maximum volume, performance, style and features, and then decibels. And let's say for styles and features, add in any bonus points if there's something cool about it for yourself. So if I end up giving this one, I think it's ugly, but it's got some feature I like, I might give it a six. If you didn't care for the feature, you might give it less and we'll just average them out and give our full marks at the end. Let's go. Steph and I really had a great time going through and testing all of these out. To my surprise, it really started to show the difference in quality between them once we got them into the home listening environment. I did listen to all of them and loads more in store, but the store was so noisy, it was hard to tell the difference. That said, we just excluded the ones in store that sounded way below the quality of these ones. Testing these in studio, we went back and forth and listened to them to make sure we had them in order. We're not audiophiles, we're not absolute experts in this, but we're pretty confident in our final decisions. Good point. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I thought I had to be straight numbers, like, so good girl. you know, one to ten. <laughs> yeah, six and a half is between one and ten. What are you talking about? Yeah, but I didn't know we were doing that. Okay, you I guys, I know, right? It's like we just came out of a club. What? What? Um, Where's my Uber? What'd you say? Oh, God, I shouldn't have drank so much. What? I think he really liked you, though. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we've just gone through and rated them all. So now let's give you an overview of them and then our average scores at. If there was a big difference in our scores, I'll let you know who gave what, but it was, they were mostly close. First of all, the MacBook Pro 2017 has the best laptop speakers I've ever tested, and we just benchmarked that in amongst them, so we had a bit of a starting point. So on average, we gave the Mac a five and a half out of 10 after listening to these guys for its audio performance at normal listening room temperature one-on-one -on -one with a computer, say you're doing a Word doc and you just want some background music, and a six for at its maximum volume, how it was performing. Now. That is actually the lowest of any of the scores we've given for any of these. So that gives you an idea. Best laptop speakers on the market, these are all better. And some of these are as cheap as $70. So it's not gonna cost a fortune. But let's go through them one by one and tell you what we've got. First up is the 
Fire truck outside. Thank you, fire truck. Very loud. I would rate them at a sound quality of. Uh... So as I was saying, the first one is the Sony XB30. This is the middle of the range in terms of size. We have the smaller one, this one, but they do make an even bigger one. So these are all of their official claims. 24 hours on a single charge. Of course, this is Bluetooth. It's got the extra base option and it's water resistant, not waterproof. This one's coming in at $149. And on average, we rated the sound quality at 6.25, max volume performance as a seven, and then overall bonus points as a 7.5. And I think that mostly came down to the huge 24 hour performance that this had. Steph also liked the color and the shape. Well, that's fair enough. It's a party thing, right? Yeah. And then in terms of decibels, this was one of the loudest at 87 decibels is what my little app was reading. Although I don't know that it's terribly accurate. They were all pretty close. Next up is the iHome IBT372. Now this guy is weather tough and shock proof, two meaningless statements. This says it has eight hours on a full charge. It's waterproof and dust proof. It has voice control, but you need the Melody app downloaded to do it. I think it's kind of ugly and chintzy looking. Not the ugliest of the ones in the group though. In terms of audio quality, we rated this as a seven for normal listening, so above the Sony, which is more than double the price. At maximum performance, though, we rated this as a six, whereas it was a seven. We'll, I'll link to a page where you can see all of this in a table, so you don't have to keep up with it one by one. Uh, and for features, five and a half, the lowest out of any, it's dog ugly, and it was 85 decibel. Next one, the Soundlink Mini 2. Uh, Quite tiny, surprisingly heavy. I think one of the prettiest ones in the group. This guy, no, nothing too special, 10 hours of battery life. The main thing I liked about it is that it's got international wattage from 100 to 240. And the good thing about both of the Bose ones we're looking at, as soon as they were turned on, they automatically paired to the computer if it was available, whereas all the others you needed to go in and reselect it, so that was nice. In terms of audio performance, we both gave this an eight for normal listening on average for maximum volume, an 8.25, and then for features, an average of eight. So that's the highest on every metric so far. What I gave it, I actually gave it a nine on the styles and features. I think it is the prettiest one and how something, this is also just about the smallest one, um, how it fills the room with sound, I'm really impressed with. Next up is the JBL Flip 4. Now this one has 12 hours battery life and it's IPS7 waterproof, which means it's actually submersible, which is surprising because the, the edge speakers bounce in and out. So I don't know how they're sealing that. And the cool thing, it says you can link up to a hundred of these together. So you could just throw them around a pool party, a dozen of them in the backyard. And actually I was impressed with the sound quality of this, although I'm sure submerging it, it's gonna sound crap. Yeah but it's coming in at 89 bucks, which is pretty great considering. So the JBL Flip, we're giving it an average of six and a half for normal listening, six and a half for maximum volume. Features, we're giving it six and a half. Steph only gave it five because it was lightweight. I gave it some extra because it's fully submergible. I thought that's worth something for some people who want something for a pool party, that's pretty good. And maximum volume, 85. So, so far 85, 86, 87, there's really not a lot in it. Next up is the, what was it, Ultimate Ears Boom by Logitech. Similar in size to the JBL, but more than double the price at $150. This one is the same price as the big Sony and more than most of the others here. For audio quality, a seven. For maximum audio, a seven and a half. For features, a 7.5. It's waterproof, it's got a long range and whatnot. And this guy is coming in at 87 decibels, so actually as loud as the big Sony. Kind of impressive, that's gonna fall. Next up, the Bose Revolve. Now this is equal most expensive amongst the group. This is $199, 12 hours battery life, and this is IPX4 water resistant. So it's the least water resistant of the water resistant ones, but it'll take a little bit of a shower. Unlike the other Soundlink, which from Bose that has no soundproofing in it. Now, I thought this was doing pretty good in terms of audio quality. What number are we up to here? Six. 
Cheeky number six, an 8.25 for sound quality. So far, that's our top rated one. A 7.75 for top volume, which is second amongst all of them. So pretty good for a small footprint. And uh, features of seven. So again, that's right up there amongst all of them. Um, nice work, Bose. Next up, our little surprise, the Sony. Yeah. This is the XB20. This has 12 hours on a full charge, IPX5 water resistant, same kind of speakers, but smaller than the 30. And again, you can, it basically has everything the 30 has, but in a smaller footprint. <laughs> yes, and it's only $99. The sirens outside, they're completely free. This one, we gave an 8.25, so equal audio quality to the Bose, which is more, at double the price. We gave it an 8.5 at maximum volume, which is the highest of all of them. The highest quality we gave to this guy, amazing. And then for features, an 8.75. Steph gave it a nine. What did you love about this so much? I think the price. Yeah, the price, it's water resistant. 12 hours of just like, you can play up to. For Be honest. Charge. And plus, I like the color. And it's actually really cute. So like, it is, they do come in different colors to be fair. It's not just blue and black, they have a whole range. I, <laughs> I sincerely just grabbed the boxes without checking the color on there. I thought that wouldn't really matter, but. I like the back speaker as well. Yeah, so oh, these are all surround mm -hmm. and all the others have either surround speakers or they have a back speaker. So this one has a little one in the back. Yeah, so really pretty like impressive. And then that guy came in with the decibel of 86, so it's right up there as well. Pretty impressive. And I have to say, overall, I think the sound quality from the 20 was noticeably better than the 30. The 30 was a lot muddier. With the bass off, it sounded tinny. With the bass on, it just sounded muddy. This sounded a lot clearer through the whole range. So out of the two, no question for me, I would take the 20, yeah. smaller, better quality, almost as loud, easy choice. Next up, the Ultec Lansic that you said looks like a truck's tire, and I have to agree, it looks like <laughs> something designed in Eastern Europe. The big appeal of this one is it has 50 hours battery on a full charge, and it's not that heavy, despite looking like a track tire that you'd find at a mine. It's like a tank. It is just like a Get tank. Like oh, here. Yeah. <laughs> right? Now it's a water tank. This has a waterproof exterior. Not sure what that means, because surely once the water gets in, it's I the interior the you want it. Yeah, so if it showers on the top and none happens to get on the grill, as if, hurrah. Main thing about this one, it has NFC. I think it's the only one in the group that has NFC. In terms of performance, we gave it a seven, a seven, a seven and a half uh, uh, features, and it was coming in at 85 decibels. Again, so far they're all 85 to 87. It's really tight and they're all really loud. Considering the MacBook, was an 81, they're all quite loud, you know, at least 10, eight, eight decibels more, six to eight decibels more. Finally, the Sonos. Now this one we have to acknowledge is not Bluetooth, does not have a battery in it, but it's still under $200. And for those who don't travel as much as I do, but want something for their computer, the fact that it's Wi-Fi rather than Bluetooth may not actually bother them. So I thought I would include it anyway, but it is its own, thing because it has no battery in there. And it doesn't have Bluetooth, so you need to do it via the Sonos app, which I'm not a huge fan of, I have to say. But once you get it up and running, it worked fairly well. Audio quality, an eight. So one of the top ones. Top volume sound quality, 7.75. Steph felt it didn't have bass. I felt it just didn't, to be honest, I felt it had the best quality bass of all. It wasn't that like you hear at a crappy nightclub but I could feel the, the pulsing. I actually thought the bass was one of the best things about its audio. It just wasn't as overwhelming as the other ones. Um, style and features, I think it actually looks pretty nice. Yeah. It would be nice to have on a bookshelf. It just doesn't have all the stuff that all the others like are offering. Home theater. Exactly. Kind of and it does fill the room well. And in terms of output, it's the loudest, 89 decibel. I'd say if you're not traveling, and you want something for parties or for just a home theater, then that's your obvious choice. So let's go through and choose, our, we'll work out first of all, which one gets the, the most points, then award our favorite of them all in terms of, and why, our own criteria, 
and then any recommendations we'd give depending on what your needs may be. Okay, so in reverse order, we first of all, to let you know, we excluded the decibel mark because we're already rating it on what's its maximum volume performance. So I think all of these are fine for a small party in a small home, but if you were having some big party, none of these would really cut it. You would, it'd be overwhelmed by conversation by say a dozen people. Oh, or, hundred of these. Or even three. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, the lowest rated, so this is out of a total of potential of 30, sound quality out of 10, maximum volume quality out of 10, and then features out of 10. The lowest was the iHome at 18.5. Let's put them left to right over here. Then it was the JBL, which surprised me because I kind of liked it, so it shows that they're all actually not terrible at 19.5. Then the big Sony at 20.75, number six, I can't read my own handwriting, dude. Altec Lansing at 21.5. Number five was the UE at 22. Number four was the Sonos, which may or may not have the cable to get there at 22.75. Number three was the Result Revolve at 23. Ooh, ooh, you know the result. Yeah. <laughs> we like have to hold each other, you know, okay. like pageants. <laughs> and the winner is, oh no, and the runner up is, oh, because that's the bad thing about being in a pageant. The runner up always gets shafted because it's like, and the runner up is the Soundlink Mini, which means that the winner is the Sony. <laughs> oh man, yeah. people are going to think that this channel sponsored by Sony, but look where the more expensive one came. Yeah, actually I was really surprised by that. So I would say though, if you want one that's slightly waterproofy, I would probably go for this guy if your budget allows for it. Otherwise, the Sony, it really does well on every metric. You can get a black one if blue isn't your color. It's got some waterproofing. The sound quality is fantastic. The price is one of the cheaper ones. It's really hard to go past all of that, to be honest, in my opinion. If you wanted something really tough, then you know this is giving you full submersion. I'm still gonna hold back my judgment because for me, I want something that I can put on my desk and listen to music when I'm working that we could throw on the bedside table when we're gonna watch Game of Thrones and that I can put into my bag and know that it will travel fine and give me good quality audio, say when I'm in a hotel room in the other side of the world and bored out of my mind. So I want something that isn't gonna get crushed and I do care about the audio quality. So let me think on that a little. What about you? Hmm. I think I do have to go with this one. I can't like I can't discount like the price. She's a scientist, so the... she she always has to go with the numbers. Yeah, the numbers, <laughs> the price, like the sound is good. Like I can't believe that that actually didn't sound as good as this. It's like the size is bigger, and but this is very small. It's very light, and I don't, I'm I don't sure know. there's a C size doesn't always matter reference in there somewhere. But I, I mean, I'm above making such a tawdry <laughs> comment. Oh, I need to study these numbers. I was sure I would go with this one. I think the styling of it is the best. I really thought, and I thought the audio that this is putting out, because it's got such a small surface area of speakers, I was really, really darn impressed. But I think I'm actually gonna go with this one because I think the audio quality is, the well, of the portable ones, I think the audio quality of this is the best. I think it's less likely that this is gonna get damaged than that. Yeah. The chance, I go to a lot of different places, so the chance of something getting wet or humid is high for me. So having something with some waterproofing is better than with none. And I also feel like this could just get scratched up pretty easy and kind of get crushed. Having said that, I am choosing the 199 one and there's a $99 one that is almost as good. So if you are on a bit tighter of a budget, I would definitely recommend the Sony for most people, but I really want the audio quality. So <laughs> I'm well, gonna take the 199. What you're looking for it too, if you're gonna stay at home, if you're gonna go out and like swimming. But having said that, the Sonos, we gave an eight and a 7.75. Mm -hmm. The Revolve, we gave an eight and an 8.25. Mm -hmm. So we thought this has better audio quality 
and it has a battery and it's splash proof and it's Bluetooth and it's compared to the Sonos. So saying that if you're just staying at home, you might as well get this one. I don't think actually holds. This beats it on every regard and, and it's cheap. A and you can- one of this too. Yes, so. for $2.99, that's even better, but I thought it's maybe a bit too expensive. Yeah. And of course, any of these, they recharge via micro USB. So you don't need to be running it off battery if you're at home. You can just leave it on mains power. It'll also then be charged to unplug and take when you go to a pool party, when you fly to Hong Kong next week, like I am, when you go to a tractor, like a monster truck derby or something like that. Actually, you could carry that in your purse as like a personal defense like thing, a right? Weapon? Yeah. Yeah. Hope you guys found that of some use. It was actually really fun. Let us know what other product showdowns you'd like. Neither of us are total audiophiles, but we do like music and to be honest, like comparing the two Sonys, it was night and day. I don't wow. think you need to be some kind of audio technician to hear how muddy and crappy this sounded compared to the smaller, cheaper one. So again, I hope that was of some help. Leave us your questions, comments, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. I wonder if the audio meter is actually working. Watch the number and see if it does actually go over okay. 88. What was the highest we got? 89. 89. Ah! It didn't, did 84. it? 84. Maybe you have to sustain it longer. Ah! Surely that's 84. louder. I gotta see the number. I'm gonna probably scream like a girl. Ah! Did you say oh, I'm 84. probably gonna scream like a girl? Yeah, because I would assume this higher pitch. But you're a girl. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>